Hello everyone, Jeff here. Wanted to go through some of the practice problems in Module 2 that have to do with using a financial calculator to answer time value of money questions. This is practice problem 2. Uh, it's my version of it. Yours will have different numbers in it each time you attempt the practice. Um, let me just pull up the calculator here. There's a button over on the left and I'm going to resize it so it fits on our screen here. All right. In this example, your grandmother just gave you $4,000 and you want to see what it's going to grow to in the future if you invest it. And the first part says calculate the future value of $4,000, given that it will be invested for five years at an annual interest rate of 5%. And then the question repeats itself down here. If you invest for five years at 5% annually, the future value is something or other. So the key of the financial calculator is that no matter what kind of problem you are doing, you're going to be entering the things that you know and then computing the thing that you don't know. I usually just read the question and then type in the things as they are read. So your grandmother just gave you $4,000. So I've typed in $4,000 here and we have to tell the calculator what that thing is. She just gave you $4,000. You want to see what it's going to be in the future, but you know that now it's $4,000. $4,000 is the present value. So you type in $4,000 and then you press the present value key. It will show up here. If you invest for five years, that makes five the number of periods. So you can click on the five and then N for number of periods. It'll fill in here at 5% annually. So five and interest per year. That is all of the information that we are given. It's asking for the future value. And so we press this button here, which means compute future value. So compute the future value. It's going to give us the answer $5,105 in some sense. Uh, don't be thrown off by this negative sign here. Either the present value or the future value is going to be negative. That is only to take account for the directions of the cash flows, so to speak. If you were to put $4,000 into a bank five years later, you would take 5105 out of the bank. So the sign is just indicating it's going in and then out the opposite direction. However, the future value is expressed as a positive number, and this says around to the nearest cent. So 5105 and 13 cents. Let's check that. Fantastic. Okay. The next part of this question is if you invest for five years at 5% compounded semi annually, the future value is. Only one thing has changed in this question, which is the number of compounding periods per year that's now two. Normally when you start a new problem you want to hit reset to clear everything here, but when only one thing has changed it's easier to leave everything and just change the one thing. Um, since the only thing different here is that we now have two compounding periods per year instead of one, we can press two. C slash Y means compounding periods per year that will change up here. Everything has stayed the same. We can now press compute future value and it will tell us that that is 5120.34. Notice since there are more compounding periods there is a little bit more future value because the interest is compounding more often. We'll check that. Nice work. Okay. Um, I am not going to go through the rest of these, but they are similar. It's uh, at this point now you've changed interest rates and you've changed the uh, compounding periods back to one. So it's up to you whether at this point you would want to reset and start everything over or try to just change the two things. That's up to you. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to continue with another video on a couple other problems.